one to dispatch. We are en route to the scene. Dispatch oh. to Unit 1. Copy that. Okay, I'm in the back Acknowledged this time. Unit 1 on oh. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, so welcome back to Firefighter Simulator. This is a unique view. We are joined by the Northern Alex. He's driving right now. And we are on our way to a fire in Firefighting Simulator, the squad. Hello everybody. Don't mind my driving. I promise I won't hit anybody. <laughs> I'm liking this view. I never sat back here. I'm in one of the jump seats. Basically. That's why you are the cap opener. <laughs> 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 this is awesome. What type of fire are we responding to again? Um, this is... What was it? Go through fire and water. Fire and I can't remember what that one is, but it's one of the random locations, so it's a little bit different every time you, you get there, so... It makes it more interesting. Dispatch to Unit 1. Reports indicate the fire is spreading. The there goes my life. status of the house still <laughs> unknown. Unit 1 to dispatch. Copy that. Copy that. So another thing I wish they would change, I wish we wasn't always Unit 1. Yeah. No matter like what truck we're in, we're always you know, one. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's uh, and and with all due respect to the deaf, but I guess that's really where it shows when when you uh, whether or not you have anything to do with North American fire services. Gotcha. I guess it would probably be easier on their end. Make you guys always number one. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess it, you just need one voice sample, right? Yeah. I would love to overtake him, but at the same time, I don't trust the traffic. So we have two completely random players with us here: El Diablo as well. Oh yeah, pit successful once again. There you go. Um. In this game. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can guarantee you in a real life scenario I would not be this fast. I would be scared if it was going this fast in real life. It's one thing to do it in the game, but real life of course gotta take it easy. I don't see any fire yet. Unit one to dispatch. Unit one approaching scene. Dispatch to all units. Unit That's 1 on smoke. scene, assuming command. Continue working the fire. Oh, where there's smoke, there's fire, right? There it is. Command! We've got electric Here we fires go. being relit by sparks. Find a fuse box and cut the power. Alright, let's do our thing. Ace is uh, opening all the caps. Because <laughs> yeah. that's what he does. I'm it's really gonna job. do it too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my job. <laughs> Alex decided to open caps. <laughs> <laughs> and, open. and that's all he will do. That's the I'm end of the video. Caps and we are done, guys. All right. Shh. Roll the outro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. oh, oh, hello, fire. I am going in. Call out. And I will close this door here before everything else starts burning. That is one thing I have to say, though, that I do really like, is if you close the door, you buy yourself some time. Yes. The fire does not immediately go through. Oh, I found a second person back there. Almost missed them. Yeah, I got one. Larry... Oh, no, Larry the dog is attacking the fire. And El Diablo got one. Well, that's unfair because he can walk through the fire and doesn't even feel it. <laughs> Don't be cheating, Larry. <laughs> but so far, everybody that we played with like in the random matches, they've been doing a decent job. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, that, that that last episode that we recorded together. Oh, yeah, that was great. That, that guy was on fire. 
guys missed that one, definitely go back and check it out on both of our channels. We fought a pretty big uh, warehouse fire. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? Let's open the window. There we go. Horizontal ventilation is starting. I do wish that we had the fog pattern built on our... A lot of people. Oh, just... no, but yeah, a lot of people do. I was asking for that. You know, one thing I never tried, which mm -hmm. now I see we can do, is returning tools. <laughs> uh, you don't have time for that. What do you got probies for? <laughs> I have to say though, I think part of the reason why we're so successful today is because I opened all the caps. Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. That's uh, not trying to take that. credit for anything, but you know, <laughs> I feel like having all the caps open today just yeah. helped out. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, you you were essential to the job <laughs> because without that, we wouldn't be able to fight any fires. There you go. So guys, when you um, first start a game, you could like give assignments to the AI or the other players you're playing with. So I got in the game a little late and <laughs> Alex was giving <laughs> assignments to everybody. So since I was the last one in, I got assigned to open the caps. So that's, that's where all of that is coming for when you guys are yeah. wondering what's happening. <laughs> exactly. Cap opener ace. But professional cool. cap opener even when you're playing with ai you could assign them like their first primary tasks connecting water supply grabbing a line opening cats <laughs> pretty cool yep it's a nice little mechanic for sure oh boy quite the fire though Stuff is breaking and exploding and I love it. I just wish they would have used a different sound clip for the owl or whatever is outside of the window because it sounds kinda like somebody screaming for help. And <laughs> I think of my first two fires I ran around the the house like a complete Yeah, moron. <laughs> Looking for people that were not there. By the way, I know you are in Georgia, so it's probably not that crazy cold. But just so you know, it's uh, it's a balmy minus. Uh, what is what? it now? Minus sixteen. Minus. Minus. We only do plus here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Minus I know. 16 degrees. Oh boy. I don't think I can live here. Ah, you get used to it. But how? Have a, have a nice big fire beside me right now, Roaring. Well, I it's mean, it should be Roaring, but... Wait, so how well, how cold does it get, like, where you're at? Um, well, I, I will say it in, in degrees centigrade. Um... Because it doesn't matter. Uh, minus 40 is minus 40. And uh, the coldest that I've seen it up here was uh, a wind chill of minus 52. Wow. That's... Uh, so does it ever get to a certain point where they're like, all right, we got to close schools? Or is it just like oh, yeah. the kids are tough there? <laughs> no, usually like when it goes below minus 30 or minus 25, that's when we usually drive the kids. I don't have to walk anymore wow. but uh yeah there, there's times when school is absolutely shut down especially when there's a lot of snow where you get to the point that the buses just simply can't get out can't get anywhere yeah but unlike uh let's say florida where there's half well no florida doesn't have any snow but where, where did I hear it from? Oh, from Texas, when they had 
what a quarter inch or something <laughs> like that and everything was yeah, shut down shut yeah down. we're it's we're talking about feet several feet of snow before that happens wow see some of the well. states here like the southern states especially they don't have no supplies for snow so yeah. quarter inch they got no salt they got no trucks and everybody's not used to driving on snow and they just Wait, but get into in wrecks <laughs> But but uh, uh, your your old home, New York. There you got some pretty decent snowstorms every now and again too, eh? Yeah, New York is the last couple of years hasn't been too bad, but we get big storms here and then there. So some seasons you may get a lot of snow, some seasons you may not get too much. Yeah. Like, the last snow season, we barely got anything. I don't remember getting over, like, two or three inches this past year. We are already well past that. <laughs> but then there was other years when we got, like, a whole foot at a time and then a whole another foot of snow. And that's where I can see cities and whatnot shutting down, because... Yeah. No. We, we did have a surprise snowstorm two years ago. It actually popped up on my um, Facebook reminders. All my friends was talking about it. And I think it was last week. I think it was November 15th or so around that day. And mm -hmm. it wasn't a lot of snow, but it just caught the city off guard. And it happened during rush hour around 5 p.m. So the school buses, the like it was just locked down. No one could move, and the, the city. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that right there. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, but nobody had like snow chains on or anything, and it just like crippled everybody. Nobody could move. And my wife, it took her like about four or five hours to drive just a couple miles home, just because of how crazy it was. Yeah. One of my friends, that's a truck driver. He told me he was stuck delivering to New York City that day, and it took him 12 hours just to get in, which is ridiculous. That is crazy. That was only 12 minutes. I think we should do a quick one, hey? I would say so. Let's give them some more action. Well, action, action is a big word. I'm thinking we're going to do that that new rescue one that I have. Eviction on fire. Our favorite. At least I don't have to open caps on this one. No, no, <laughs> you don't. You just have to grab the extinguisher and give it a go. Oh, great. Now I'm driving again. Yes. I wonder if I'm in the same seat. Yeah, probably. Given the fact that you're on the same location now. Oh, Off one, we go. Uh, first person. I do like the command Dispatch to Unit 1, we've got to cut your inspection at the fuel station It would just short. awesome if we've it would an do call. anything. Unit 1 to dispatch. Yeah. We were on route like, even see. just getting inside would be nice and, and have a look. Because I've seen the, the... When you look from the outside in, it looks quite detailed, actually. I don't but who knows, maybe... <laughs> oh, wait, no, there we go. I see this. Maybe, uh... Maybe eventually they will bring some more... Functionality in it. I don't know. I mean, I I realize this is really meant for the layman, right? And and it's maybe not as in depth as some of the. That is true. This is one heck of a response, though. Seven thousand. Yeah. Well, that's the thing with the rescues. It seems like they are more, well, quote unquote, race missions than anything else. <laughs> So good thing that I'm at the at the wheel. <coughs> <laughs> there won't be any pits happening today. But it's also nice in a way that yeah, any any person can just join you, and everybody has kind of this this common goal. I have not seen any any kind of trolling yet, nor do I really see how you could troll because even if you are a complete dingus, yeah, you can't really it's... disconnect lines and stuff. No, exactly. Which is good. Yeah. There's too much trolling in other games going on as it is, so it's nice to have. This one here. 
And you know, like you said the last time, it is super easy to record this game. Yes. Or stream it. Oh, there what is, is a... that? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. We got a little surprise there. That could have been bad. I wonder if it had a collision on it. <laughs> it would have just wrecked out if you touched it. In a way, I wanted to try, but on the other hand, we are doing pretty good in time, so I don't want to wreck that. Wow, going through the tunnel at 65 miles an hour, that's legit. Three point seven kilometers left to go. So, are you gonna give this new um, once it comes out anyway the the uh, no proof one one two part two a try? I Which is you have firefighting? I probably would give it a try. You played that one, right? The first part, yeah. The first part, yeah. I never, I never checked it out, but it, it did look interesting though. So I think I may give it a try this time around. How is it? I don't know yet. Well, I it's mean, not like released. the the first part. To it. Oh, the first part. Well, they set out to do great things, and unfortunately, feature creep started setting in, and it was not like multiplayer on that one was an afterthought. And you could really tell. Um, I mean, the idea, the, the, the base idea was good. The models, the truck models were amazing. And, and, and some of the mechanics were really, really good too. But uh, there was just not enough optimization. And, and they realized that then too. And that's why they started pretty much from scratch. I know there was a lot of people that was mad that said, hey, um, you never finished really the first part why are you making the second one now and they were very transparent and said well because we screwed up with the first one there is at this point we can't we can't uh nice driving there <laughs> thank you um we just can't fix it anymore it's easier for us if we just start over that and that's good, what they though, did sometimes it's better to be honest and just move on yeah and and this time from what i've seen so far from all the gameplays that i've seen um oh yeah they they learned their lessons all right and it has been built from the ground up with uh, multiplayer in mind nice so no i think we we should totally give that a try Okay. Oh, if he grabbed the coffee while unit I was doing dispatch. that turn, oh, that unit was the end of that. Scene. Dispatch to all units. Unit one on scene, assuming command. Continue working the fire. All right. Where are we parking? Oh my goodness, come on. Back just in time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I said if you were in the back grabbing the coffee when I took that last turn, that would be the end. Oh boy. Good thing I had my turn out on at least. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Oh, uh, this What's is empty. This is empty. There's an axe. I need fire extinguisher. Oh, there. So it would be nice if maybe there was an interior to go along with this that we had to get people out or something. Yeah. Just as a rescue unit responding to a fire like this with only extinguishers. Yeah. And no other <laughs> units on the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that was interesting. 
set all this stuff on fire. <laughs> all right, party time! Woo yeah. <laughs> it's funny once you are a third person, it just goes every which way, that but just so not hilarious. where you, not where you do. But I think 20 minutes is a good time to say. Thank you everybody for watching. I uh, do hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks Ace for joining me once again. Of course, thanks for playing as well. Always a blast playing with you. Mm -hmm. And of course, as always, links to your social media is in the description below for those that don't know you, but I don't think there's that many anymore. <laughs> I'm sure there's some new people here and there. And same thing on my channel. If you don't already know the Northern Alex, definitely go ahead and give him a follow. Um, links to his YouTube and uh, Twitch will be down below as well. So we'll see you on the next one. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye.